Today I'm going to talk about reading gravity um, using two different methods, one the hydrometer and one with a refractometer. Um, so hydrometer is the simplest way you can measure gravity, uh, and gravity being your alcohol by volume or ABV percentage. So what you do is you actually take a reading before your uh, wort is fermented and a reading after your wort is fermented and then basically subtract the second from the first, multiply it by a number, and that gives you your ABV. Um, so what a hydrometer measures is the density of your liquid in comparison to the density of water. So because our sugar is suspended inside the water, because it's wort, you know, it's barley, sugar, water, whatever, uh, it's going to be more dense. And so the hydrometer will actually float to a level on it. And here's a hydrometer. So this is a hydrometer. It has numbers uh, going down the stem, and those are related to specific gravities. And so basically what you're gonna do is you put your unfermented or fermented wort into a tube like this. Um, I usually fill it to 250. Then you drop your hydrometer in, spin it, and it'll land at one of these readings. And this one actually has wine, beer, table wine, dessert wine as uh, metrics on here. And there's also a brick scale on here, and a brick scale is actually more accurate for our purposes with beer, especially when it comes to relate to refractometers, but that's later in the video. So I'm gonna just show you how to use a hydrometer, and we can go for it. I have some unfermented wort here. This is just DME uh, dissolved into water, and it's not really boiled, but it's whatever, it's fine. And then this is some um, fermented beer that I just pulled from my fermenter. This is my cranberry blonde that I make for Thanksgiving every year. So this, like, you're gonna take the same uh, kind of beer to get your gravity sample, obviously. So, so before you throw your yeast in, you're gonna take a gravity sample, and then after you think uh, you're beer is completely fermented. So like maybe a week or two after you've pitched your yeast, um, you can take another reading and then that'll give you an ABV. And the way you can actually see if your beer is totally uh, uh, fermented, or say fermentation day 10, take your gravity reading then, then take it at day 11 and then day 12. And if it hasn't changed at all, then you know your beer is completely done. But I don't like hydrometers because you have to use so much liquid. So if I was gonna take like five readings, I feel like it's basically an entire beer you're losing. So that's like five glasses of beer that I'm not drinking, which is why I'm gonna show you how to use a refractometer because you, the sample size is significantly less. And to get your beer out of your fermenter, this is a wine thief. I absolutely hate this thing. It does not work well. I use, prefer to use uh, the spigot that's on the side of my fermenter and just throw it into a flask and uh, then pour it in. But if you have to go through the top, you can get one of these and I'll link below to like most of the equipment that I'm using, but you basically dip it in. You gotta sanitize the crap out of it. So you dip it in, you cover the hole with your thumb, pull it out, drop it in doesn't work great, it only fills like about halfway. All right, so we're gonna read our unfermented wort. So I'm gonna take the temperature of the wort before I measure the gravity. Um, every, well, most hydrometers are calibrated to do readings at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and temperature changes your density, so you have to c use a correction if you're at a different temperature. And there's a bunch of calculators that I'll link to below. It's super easy. You just put in your specific gravity and then the temperature, and it'll tell you what 
you should actually be at. My work is at 23 degrees Celsius because I bought a thermometer that is only in Celsius for some reason, which means that it is 73.4 degrees. So I'm gonna have to adjust my specific gravity once I get it. So spin your hydrometer when you put it in to get rid of some of the bubbles in there. Um, they tend to stick. So my specific gravity, it's around uh, 1.076 it looks like. The water tension holds some of the water to the hydrometer, so you're gonna wanna read at the lowest point that the water sits at. Okay, so now I'm going to do a final gravity reading on my cranberry blonde. And so my final gravity on this cranberry pill is 1.011. So that's a pretty standard final gravity. To get your ABV, you can throw it into any number of online calculators, um, but there is an actual formula, and the formula is ABV equals original gravity minus final gravity times, so original gravity minus final gravity in parentheses, and then you multiply that by 131.25, and it's a simple formula. Now that we've figured out how to use a hydrometer, I'm going to show you how to use a refractometer and how to uh, calibrate a refractometer. That's a good beer.